there, everybody. Hi. Welcome to the Film Pigs Jesus. on Geek Nation. We Ooh. are a web series all about the movies. I'm your host, Stephen Skelton. I'm here with fellow Film Pigs, Stephen Falk. Couldn't be happier. Todd Robert Anderson. Super happy. And a very special guest, second week in a row back, returning guest champion, Jonathan Mangum. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. You know Jonathan from uh, Whose Line Is It Anyway? Let's Make a Deal on CBS. They've kidnapped me. And you will yes and your pussy. And, <laughs> and, and of and of course what? and of course you also know him from Sequest 2032. Oh my gosh! Yes, yeah. Sequest. Yes. Great uh, my sad card doing Sequest. <laughs> which which was the Sequest post Roy Scheider. No, Roy Scheider was in the. Was episode. he still on? Yeah, yeah, was he yeah. in the episode? Yep. Your episode. Mm -hmm. So it was before he left, and Michael Ironside took over for him. Before Ironside. Oh, did so you didn't get to work with so, Ironside? No, oh, that's no. too bad. But did you get to meet Roy Scheider? Did not. It was not in his scene. Uh, but. There's nothing after that. Oh, right. Sequest, you guys. I, I'm, but, sure, dot, dot, dot. Yeah. I'm sure it's I'm sure it's streaming somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So on that note, let's toast a little popcorn. Popcorn. Yeah. 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 Did you say dick, 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 dick? Sure. Okay. Why not? Dick, 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 you guys, there's a lot of movies coming out soon, and you don't know what to see. How do you choose? You don't know what's going on. This is called rash judgments. This is where we, the film pigs, take a look at what is coming out soon and let you, the hardworking viewer, know whether you should or should not go see them based solely on our own dickish instincts. Go see them. We have not seen these movies. No, see them. We might not don't. know anything about these movies. We don't get screeners. We don't get invited to big <laughs> events. We have thumbs, and they go up and they go down. Stephen Falk, do you have a rash judgment? Do you like heists? Shit, yes. Yeah. You like ultra-violent movies. Oh, oh, you're speaking my uh, language. Do you like Woody Harrelson? You sure. You're gonna love... Wait, let me see what this movie's called. Oh, crap. Triple Nine. <laughs> oh, isn't I, it Aaron Paul in that I too? have never heard of this movie, but boy, oh boy, does it look really entertaining. <laughs> uh, it stars Casey Affleck, Chiwetel Ejiofor, uh, uh, Anthony Mackie, Aaron Paul, Norman Reedus, Kate Winslet, and Woody Harrelson. That's quite uh, a It cast, looks like a high, heisty, heisty, copy, shooty, uh, really violent banks and, and, and cops and guns. And, it, and it, you know, it looks like a lot of, like, like guy actors, like, chewing the scenery. Like, Woody has fake teeth and he's being all... But, boy, oh, boy. Uh, I'm, I'm pleasantly uh, intrigued by this movie. Triple Nine. Never heard of it. Looks fun. Well, wow. 999 is some kind of Fantastic. cop code, I think. Probably. Yeah, it's got to be some kind of code. Well, thank really you, Stephen Fall. Everybody check that out. That's Todd, exciting. Robert Anderson, Rash Judgment. Hey, uh, th this movie's called uh, Gods of Egypt. Uh, <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. It's about Egyptians. Who we'll this guy in here? <laughs> All the Egyptians are white. Oh. Gerard Butler is oh. doing his best impersonation of himself in 300. <laughs> Uh, other younger white people are running around from CGI monsters. Remember when he was in P.S. I Love Ya? I do remember P.S. I Love Ya. He was a, I, he was a, he was a handsome Irish ghost. Yes, he was. And he was like, hey, hey, Hilary Schwank, don't, yeah. don't be sad that I died. Go on with your life. And Get he, fucked. You know what? He's, he, Gerard Butler needs some cash. Yeah, you apparently. know, he's, he's Does probably. Does he have like a gambling problem? He's got, <laughs> he's got, I, he's got more kids than B.B. King. Uh, and more houses than Nick Cage, so he's got to do stuff like this. But hey, I'm going to let him off the hook for this one. Wow. Because really? London has fallen. Yes! Ah! It's only a month away. Ooh. It's only a month away. <laughs> so it's okay, uh, Drew. Uh, just spill uh, You could have your so fun excited. pretending you're an Egyptian god. I'm not going to see it. Neither is anybody else. <laughs> but that's okay. You made your money, and we got London has fallen. Coming up. We're coming for you, London. London. You're going to fucking so, fall. Gods of whatever. London has fallen. Jonathan Mangum, yes. do you have a rash judgment for us? I do not. Oh, <laughs> all right. Wow. No, of course I do. Oh. Uh, it's uh, yeah, Eric, uh, the Vi Eric the Eagle. Eric the Eagle. What's it called? Eric the Viking. Eddie. Eddie, <laughs> Eddie the Eagle. So when I when I saw oh Eddie the Eagle is your title, I thought this is gonna be cool, like half man, half eagle, sure. flying around, solving crimes, killing all the white Egyptians, you know that kind of thing. <laughs> uh, but no, no, it's about a, a just a, like the classic myths. Yeah, <laughs> it's a it's a it's a story a about a <laughs> story about a British guy. That goes skiing or does some kind of 
<laughs> ski <laughs> jumps. He goes his, skiing. He goes skiing. He wins some award or he tries to win. He doesn't he's like, win. Like, he's like Forrest <laughs> Gump of never England. Won. And it's just, I mean, it says, it says uh, uh, not, not based on a true story, even one less. Oh, inspired from, oh, from a true story. Best. Which, is, yeah. which is, means they made it all up pretty yeah. much. Uh, it, 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 what I love about the trailer and what I love about the movie is it is proof that don't go to the movies. The best shit is on TV now. It really is. TV is the best stuff on. Forget the movies, because you get to watch British people fucking ski. How is that even exciting? It's a waste of time. Watch Let's Make a Deal That's right. on CBS. <laughs> CBS. Starring Jonathan Mango. Yes. It's there television. Isn't Hugh Jackman the, uh, the, oh, yeah. the friend? Hugh Jackman is a friend, but every time they show him in the trailer, he's got a wrench and he's working on something. So I don't oh. know if he's uh, like working on a submarine. But not oh, a like, real like, robot, like not one, a fighting robot. Not like one of the boxing no. robots, yeah. You'd be great. Yeah, exactly. You'd be great if Hugh Jackman, they got him, and Eddie Eagle is like doing this ski jump. And he just goes, <laughs> oh, and fucking stabs, stabs, him, stabs him. him. That'd be great. This oh. is directed by the guy who did Kingsman the Secret Service, right? Not Cool Runnings. Was that Matt Vaughn? Didn't... Yeah, I think Eddie the Eagle, because it's the same guy. The, the guy who play, plays Eddie Matthew the Eagle Vaughn, is, that, is the guy that? from, yeah, Matt. it's the director. Well, we're tight. They're buds. You, you know him? No. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Every show, I'm afraid oh, someone okay. knows somebody. <laughs> 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 If you hate Sudeikis, listen to the last episode. Yeah, uh, yeah it is. It's the same. It's like this, the team that okay, brought you Kingsman. 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 I like Kingsman. That was fun. Me too. Show. Seems like a weird very departure. Fun. All right. Well, that was Rash Judgments, everybody. Mm. Thanks for watching. Now, we have something very special, you guys. Yes, we do. Because uh, Jonathan Mangum yeah. is in a new movie. Oh, and we you have an exclusive trailer. Yeah, yeah. And this is a little kind of like an indie. It's so weird. Thing. I did it's... not know that he was in a movie because you did not splash the words "booked it" all over Facebook. <laughs> no. <clears throat> did you get the letters in the mail though that I sent to your home address? Oh, I haven't opened. Yeah, you actually sent the, the, the postcards. Yeah. Oh, he does booked the postcards. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So uh, it's very expensive. Yeah, yeah. It works out, but but you know this is kind of like a, a, a true story. Yeah. It's uh, 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 about our financial system. Mm -hmm. Oh. Um, and hard hitting yeah, money. It was inspired from a true story. That's, inspired that, from a true that's story. That's where money comes. Yeah. From. So, what do you guys think we should do? Should uh, we gotta check? Oh, we gotta, We should add it. Get it added up. Crunch the numbers. Crunch, Crunch the numbers, guys. Crunch the numbers. Wait, we can the tape. Roll it. I've been in this business for years. And I can tell you it's all one big lie. The banks have been feeding us high interest credit cards, fraudulent home loans, student loans you can never get out from under. It's all based on an intricate series of financial tricks. It might collapse at any moment, devastating the economy. I thought I was the only one that saw it. Then I found this spreadsheet in the office printer. Is this yours? 14, 14, 14, oh yeah, sorry, forgot I printed that out. And these numbers are accurate? They better be. It took us long enough to figure it out. Yeah, it was a 10 Red Bull night. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Yes! Oh, I've been waiting for this moment for a long time. I've taken all my clients' money and I've invested it based on this spreadsheet. The banks are going to feel screwed when their house of cards collapses. <laughs> Why would you do that? Aren't you supposed to be careful with other people's money? You're weird. Uh, aren't you guys quirky financial geniuses? We're junior IT guys. D does anyone here know anything about banking? No, we're terrible with money. <laughs> I've taken out a payday loan every week for the last 742 weeks. I spend most of my paycheck on in-app purchases. I keep all my money in my mom's mattress. But what, what about the spreadsheet? Well, that's for our World of Warcraft guild. T total GP doesn't stand for gross product? Gold pieces. Total gold pieces. We have quite the nest egg in Azeroth. <laughs> <laughs> is, is that anything like Bitcoin? No, it's not valuable at all. <laughs> I've just been screwed by a bunch of nerds. What does he mean, nerds? <laughs> you! You three fuckers are the nerds! <laughs> Wow, that was an amazing trend. Yes! Thank you.
It's you were look. You were so good. Thank oh, you very you much. You were such a good actor. I uh, worked for you. God. I can't believe you didn't boast about booking that job more. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't. Uh, I didn't want to make you cry again. Yeah, yeah. I got it. No, yeah, it's, I got it's, it. It's difficult. I cry a lot. It's difficult. On it's Facebook, difficult. But people are always saying, uh, "Booked it. <laughs> booked it. He's, I booked it. I have a job and you don't. Booked it." Fucked it! He, he's not even joking. Yeah. He's not even joking. Do they really do that? Yes, all yeah. the time. Who? A bunch of dumbasses. Every actor that you know who is famous says, fucked it, fucked it. And the famous ones go, I have a giant movie coming out. And wow. I have a PR firm that does my tweets for me. Fucked it! Wow. This is, we just oh, like, went a, like, down a dark path of Todd's. Oh, oh, no, but you can't think about it. It's like it's like dancing in front of like homeless people like, I got a job! I got a job! You wouldn't do that. <laughs> not so, if they were. Not so, if they were. <laughs> yeah. don't, don't assume what I wouldn't do. <laughs> uh, all right, we all have our hobbies. <laughs> all right, well, thank you, Todd. Uh, yeah. For the rant. I think it needs three more minutes. Book <laughs> <Yeah>. it! <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, I mean, we, we learned a lot on the show, mostly about Todd. And Booked how it! He feels I'll be on this. CBS tonight! <laughs> Watch my turn on NCIS Los Angeles! Watch me on this! <laughs> Book that! <laughs> so, I gotta say thank you to Todd, thank you to Stephen Falk, thank you to our special guest, Jonathan Mangum. Yeah! Uh, I actually did book it. Oh, shit. <laughs> and until next time, the concession stand is closed due to health code violations. What is it? What do they say? Booked it! <laughs> yeah, I booked it! I like, how he, I like how he jogs when he says yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, the asshole dance. <laughs> booked it! Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm.